you on containment. We were not allowed to speak our language, practice our rituals. We had no safes, safes or safety security boxes. We could not have bank accounts. We weren't allowed to read. We weren't allowed to be married. We weren't allowed to do anything. The only freedom that we did get eventually, and that's even after the Civil War was over, is that we as a people, we had to rely on each other. We had nobody else but each other. So many times that took the form of going to someone's barn or church if there was one, because many places there was no church, there was no minister, there was nothing. So you jumped over the broomstick to get married. You came to the gathering place once a week, usually a Sunday, maybe a Saturday night. And if someone was sick, everybody came together to do what they had to do. If someone needed their crops picked, everybody got together and did that. When people started to be able to buy land and hold land and have a home, we had nowhere to keep our papers. We had no proof of it because many times you'll hear strange stories about, well, I bought this, but then old Mr. So-and-so said that's not true. And he took my land and took my home and took my bank account money too. These are very true stories. So what happened is there's this folk rit ritual that people still practice where when you buy something, and it is yours. You get that last payment that made it yours and everybody comes together. Everyone looks at it, they breathe it. Some people might even take a piece of it and chew it and then they burn it up <laughs> because it is ours. <laughs> and I'll end with another story. My mother's family is mixed like most American families are. But um, it would be my great, 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 one of my great, 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 whatever they were. Um, must have been hit on the head. And so when he died, the reason that a large part of my family did not stay in slavery or get condemned and sent to Oklahoma with those that were Indians was because he put all of his property in trust. Now for years and decades, my fam some of my family members said, oh, this man just loves so-and-so and so-and-so. Lie. I mean, he might have, I don't know that. But the, the, what he did was he gave them their freedom because they were property. Mm -hmm. They did not get freedom as human beings. They got freedom like chattel. Mm -hmm. That's how he gave them their freedom. Now whether he meant it or not, I don't know, but I'm glad he did. <laughs> so now we can start our ritual.